hello guys and welcome back to my channel i'm excited to be a part of this 2000 francs challenge so basically it's cooking a Cameroonian traditional meal with 2000 francs cfa which is not easy because you have to buy everything so um i'm actually doing this in collaboration with these amazing youtubers i've left their links in the description box so please just check them out and see what they did um, so I'm going to be making um, bongo chobi, which is a meal typically eaten by the Basa people in the Litura region of Cameroon. I'm from the Northwest region, but I didn't want to give any of the Northwest region meals a try, so I just preferred to start from somewhere else. So this is basically everything I had to buy. The most expensive things were the fish, 700 francs, and plantain, 500 francs. So it gives me a total of 2,000 francs. Now let's get to the market. <laughs> Okay, um, let me show you what I bought here. Mixed green spices. I bought this for 50 francs, so uh, 25 for this group and 25 for the other. Here is salt. I bought this for 50 francs as well. Onions for 50 francs. That's one is 25 francs. So there's actually onion now, so it's good. Tomatoes, uh huh, 100 francs. There's quite some tomatoes in the market now. Um, this is the bongo spice. This has already been ground and done everything so you just need to add it to the soup So I bought that for 100 francs Jansa for 100 francs each of that cost 50 francs So I bought two because I knew it would be okay and then this is oil. Ah, this one, this is so amazing So I bought oil for 150 francs. I didn't even know they could buy oil for 150 francs now this is Maggi, I bought 5 cubes of Maggi for 50 francs because I knew like this will work well and then that's the general spice, the general spice I bought for 100 francs so this, um, this is a fish, yes, I bought this fish for 700 francs I actually took a bigger fish, they told me it was like 1000 something I'm like, mm -mm, that's more than my budget here is the plantain I bought for 500 francs, which is not bad so um, yeah I think if you look at this tray, this is 2,000 francs. So we are ready to get started with the challenge. Okay, so um, first we're going to peel and boil our plantain because that's the easiest part of today's uh, cooking. So once I boil and peel and boil my plantain, then I'm going to move on to doing the bongo because um, it's the boiled plantain that we eat the bongo with. So let's do this first. Okay, so I'm going to put this um, in the pot and it's going to have to boil for just a few minutes. So um, this is a few minutes later. I'm just checking to be sure everything is okay. Once I check and everything is fine, then I'll get on with the rest of the cooking. Okay. 
okay so um now it's time for me to wash um all of these so um, these are my green spices just a blend of coriander parsley swirly and um, the tomato onion so i'm going to blend one so here is one so i'm just going to chop all of these and blend the second onion i'm going to use later you're going to see how i use it so i'm just keeping one as one of the tomatoes aside because i feel like that um, this quantity will be too much so i've kept one aside so yeah this is everything ready in my blender i have my dancer here i would have just put it to blend but i prefer to blend dry stuff um in a separate blender just to be sure that it actually blends well now with this mbongo spice here i'm going to add this to the mixture the whole mixture i'm about to blend so um here i'm going to put um in um, three tablespoons of um, the mbongo spice so just to um, let you know like this spice are actually being um, the way they are prepared they, they, they are specific um, spices and these are burnt like burnt and then they are being um, they are blended to look like this so most of the time when you go to the market you just find this the way it is and it makes it easy like you don't have to start all over so you can just uh, So now I'm using a separate um, blender just to blend in the jansa like I said earlier. So I'll just do this separately and when I'm done I'll just, let it, um, I'll just mix it up. So um, I'm just going to um, go ahead now to put like everything inside. So since I already have like um, this um, mixture and all, I'm going to add um, the salt first. And after putting some salt, like the, just the amount of the quantity I need, I'm going to proceed to add in um, the maggi cubes as well. When I add um, the maggi cubes, um, the general spice too that I bought, like this is just a spice that has like a, little, a, a blend of everything, like ginger, garlic, um, white pepper, black pepper, just this general spice. So I'm also going to add that to this mixture and everything up and just stir. and cut my fish so yeah this is uh, four slices of fish for this meal so um, I'm going to um, generally what I realize is that people would use um, mashwaron for bongo chubi but I actually do prefer mackerel like mackerel is like my best fish and it's the same for every other member of my family so that's why I prefer to do this so right now I'm just taking some of that um, blended um, goodness with the maggi and salt and just putting all over the fish because I will not put the fish at the same time I'm putting in everything this is because it will make the fish get soft so I prefer to put some of it so that it just gets into the fish while I start so this is the other half of the onion here and I'm just going to start by frying that half okay now let's let's cut open our oil so I actually did make sure that every ingredient that I used for this meal was what I bought from the market and it came from this 2000 I was actually tempted to cook from the house but I wanted to stay true to the challenge just so that I can maybe somebody convince me to somebody no it's 2000 pounds to me and I will not be kidding because I know it's something that I've done without adding anything extra. So um, after frying the onion, I'm just adding in um, the um, blended um, goodness, let me call it that. So this is just going to be in here. I'm going to let it steam for some time. So like this is like a few moments later, you can see all of it um, just getting together, getting. So I'm just letting this boil like over time. I close the port I open it up to stir and just check and when I feel like okay this is like halfway done I'm going to add in some water yes that's some water you add water depending on what consistency you actually um, would prefer so I add in the water and now it's time for me to put in the fish 
remember I told you I could not put the fish in the beginning because it was going to make it get all soft so right now it's that time to put in the fish and I'm just going to let it steam for some time so um, after a few moments here it is so um, it's now for time for me to change sides so I'm just going to turn um, the sides of the fish and close again just to let it uh, like get together again get ready and um, one thing with Mbongo is that uh, many people on cooking this since you're using fresh fish it's very easy for everything to just cut her inside um, and make it difficult like mix with the fish and bones so that's what I'm trying to avoid here I just want everything to stay full and okay just for me to consume and voila the meal is ready this is a few moments later the fish is ready the food is in my plate I'm about to devour and yep so guys this is it this is Mbongo Chubby so yay with 2000 francs you can actually cook Mbongo Chubby which is a Cameroonian traditional meal in the amazing so actually guys like 100% everything on this meal was done from for 2000 francs so thank you guys so much for watching and watching and just check this out i have some leftovers one tomato some salt and maggi cubes so i'm just going to take the maggi cubes and add to what i already had at home remember we were not supposed to take into consideration anything that we have at home thanks for watching guys and please like subscribe and share see you next time